empowering sexual abuse survivors to speak out and breaking down the stigma. That's what the 2021 Australian of the Year, Grace Tame, hopes to achieve with her newfound national platform. A survivor herself, the 26-year-old, has overcome trauma to become a passionate advocate and force for change. Australian of the Year Grace Tame joins us now. Grace. After years of fighting to be heard for the right to tell her story. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling. <laughs> Grace Tame is about to become a household name. Grace Tame. The magnitude of the moment still sinking in. All survivors of child sexual abuse, this is for us. At 26, Grace Tame has endured, survived and achieved more than most would in a lifetime. Groomed and raped by her high school teacher, she courageously campaigned to change archaic gag laws which banned victims from speaking out about their abuse. I remember him saying, don't make a sound. Well, hear me now. Using my voice amongst a growing chorus of voices that will not be silenced. The first Tasmanian to receive the top honour, she joined an all-female lineup. Four women recognised for supporting women and giving voice to the marginalised. From young Australian of the Year Isabel Marshall, who at 18 co-founded a social enterprise to end period poverty at home and abroad. Periods should not be a barrier to education. They should not cause shame. To Miriam Rose Ungemeyer Bauman, activist, educator, artist, and now senior Australian of the Year. Her life's work dedicated to bridging the divide between Aboriginal and non Aboriginal culture. Now is the time for you to come closer to understand us. Understanding the migrant experience inspired Rosemary Kariuki to help others in the same position. After fleeing Kenya in 1999, the local hero knew no one. So she set about creating a community and now helps migrant women facing family violence. I would love to see more Australians open their doors to their neighbours. Doors will open for the winners. I'm feeling empowered and ready to keep going and using this platform to create change. A platform providing a powerful emblem of hope for survivors of sexual abuse. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra. Grace Tame's award has been hailed as momentous for all survivors of child sexual abuse and is expected to empower many more to share their stories. As Anna Fromberg reports, it's hoped her national recognition will also help foster change. Grace Tame's already given strength to other survivors of child sexual abuse, like Katrina Munting. It gave me uh, more hope that, well, maybe I could be heard, maybe I, I would be believed. And, and then I, I went to the police and started the process. Last year, the pair stood together as Ms Munting's abuser was sentenced to three years jail. The high school teacher says Grace Tame's award will have an enormous impact. To remove some of that, that stigma about being um, a victim of, of childhood sexual abuse. Ms Tame was one of 17 Let Her Speak campaigners. Another, Janelle O'Connor, was the first Tasmanian woman to be granted the right by court order to speak publicly about her abuse. She says the award is momentous for all involved. We all put ourselves out there to tell our stories of trauma. so. It's an amazing achievement um, to have Grace represent us. It's hoped the national recognition will inspire more change and empower other survivors. It shows that by coming forward and by telling that story in whatever capacity you so choose can make a tremendous amount of difference. Grace Tame's main focus for the next 12 months is education, getting people talking about the warning signs of sexual abuse and the tactics perpetrators use to groom children. There's a lot of discomfort around this issue, obviously it's a heavy topic to discuss, but I always try to remind people that there's nothing more uncomfortable than the abuse itself. Driving change on a national stage. Anna Fromberg, ABC News. 
And if this story has raised any issues for you, you can get help by calling the National Sexual Assault, Domestic and Family Violence Counselling Service on 1800 RESPECT, which is 1800 737 732.